What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Zero Gravity Yo-Yos, or Zero Gravity Return Tops, Ibex. So, Zero Gravity Return Tops, the Ibex. Uh, I want to say this is their fourth or fifth release. They always just kind of do really cool yo-yos that are uh, pretty affordable. And the Ibex drops today, if you're watching this on Monday, uh, October 12th, uh, here in 2020, the year of the plague. Um, and yeah, let's get into the specs here. So it is 45.4 millimeters wide. The diameter is 57.2 millimeters with a 4.5 millimeter gap. Weighs in at a nice light 64.6 grams. So just under 65 grams, which is great for a yo-yo like this. It is made out of 70, 68 aluminum. Uh, it does have like the grooved bearing. Uh, it's nicely blasted, and uh, it's pretty cool, as you can see. It's it's kind of like organic, but with like a big step in the middle. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Magic Yo-Yo Purple line. I don't know if they still make that or if that's still out, but it kind of kind of gives me that vibe of shape. But it's it's the way the uh, the way the weight distribution is distributed. Weight distribution is distributed. Good job, Thomas. Um, is really very unique and and very cool. It. it feels in the hand like it's a very organic type throw, because it clearly is, but it plays very H-shaped. Like, it plays like a hard H yo-yo, in my opinion. Um, and I really think that's cool, because usually organic yo-yos are kind of floaty and, you know, that way. But this plays like a hard H, and I really like that. I think it plays really well. I think it's really stable, super long spinning, and it's just cool. It, it plays cool. I like H-shaped yo-yos. I feel like H-shaped yo-yos play really well. Uh, and this is no exception to that. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea, here it is next to, uh, Bosun was kind enough to send me another Easy Spin, so now I have all the colors. So here it is next to um, the Bosun Easy Spin. Get some of this out of here. So you can see that huge step in the middle. The Easy Spin's kind of bell-shaped. This is a very organic and then just a big step in the middle there. Um, and then here it is next to the uh, Peregrine. can see very big diameter much bigger diameter than the peregrine uh, and just about almost as wide I maybe mean, just a, little, a hair less wide than the peregrine so um you know full size yo-yo uh full-on kind of like h shaped big power in the rims uh lots and lots of thumb grind lip here um doesn't even need to be spinning it will your finger will lock in the finger spin cup is a little bit unique uh, in that to get it to actually, you sort of have to soft finger it in the middle there. It doesn't like just guide you right to the center. Um, but it's there if you get it in the center and you'll get, I can get, you can get nice long finger spins. I probably won't be able to do it on camera because that's just how things work. If you've ever tried to film something and like want to do it the right way on camera, you know that on camera, it's nearly impossible to do something that you can't just do, you know, without trying very hard. So at least it is for me. So I probably won't be able to do it, but we'll try and trying is what counts. Anyway, uh, really cool yo yo. It's been really fun throwing around and um, just kind of a really cool idea. Like I said, it kind of feels H, but catches organic, which is cool, right? Um, they call it a VO full size mono metal throw. Oh, and it's 7068, super thin walls too. So that's part of the reason why they were able to get the, the uh, they were able to get that like weight distribution so extreme is because the walls are super thin because it's 7068 aluminum which is quite hard um but yeah i'll go ahead and throw it around a little bit i'll show you guys what i'm talking about ibex apparently an ibex is a goat that's kind of cool tons of power in this baby super stable super long spinning super smooth too um I mean, this is really just overall a very high performance, uh, really like well-made yo-yo. Like this, this feels good. Uh, it's not expensive either. I want to say these are fifty-six dollars um, when they drop on Monday. So you know, pretty much right in that fifty-ish dollar sweet spot of cash. Really easy to hit your tricks, you know, if you're not on camera. And just a really good playing yo-yo. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Lots of spin. Grind finish is really nice, too. I feel like that's kind of the thing. I don't know that I've ever played a 7068A with a crappy grind finish. Uh, but they always seem to sort of be exceptional. And this is no different. It's got an exceptional grind finish. Feels real nice. Uh, really just kind of, you know, easy to hit the string. Real easy to, like, keep locked in as well. But easy also to get off the string. Uh, takes all your rap tricks and stuff. Plenty of room in there. It's, and it's not snaggy. But the response is very reliable as well. So it really, the, the pads fit perfectly. And you kind of feel that with a good response. So uh, I like that a lot as well. Uh, finger spins. Let's try it out. See if I can hit it. It does finger spin very well, even if you don't hit the center. I tried to get my finger in the little hole there. Try one more time. Uh, no. Didn't quite get it. But there is a little thing in there to catch for your finger spin. It's not quite as easy to get it in there as it would be on, like, the hollow Yo-Yo Factory ones or, like, the... Uh, you know, some of the ones that are more meant for that. But it's a cool little button feature to have in the yo-yo. Because why not, right? Uh, thumb grinds. Thumb grinds. Very doable. Very easy. Huge thumb grind lip. And just really a good yo-yo to play. Like, it's really, really, really stable. And it's really got a really, really good response. So, it's that nice, satisfying response, too. But like, you can just kind of wander around and bind it all day. <laughs> and that's kind of nice. Not too huge. Still easy to hit chopsticks. Regens are pretty decent as well. Easy to hit the string with, and uh, fun to play yo-yo with. Yeah, good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and take this bad boy apart, and uh, we'll do pros and cons. All right, so let's take her apart. I don't know that I've taken this apart yet. Comes apart beautifully. You saw that, right? That was just like whew. So really nice machining, uh, especially on the seat. Uh, so I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, axle seems pretty decently long. It's in there pretty good. Um, Let's take a look at this side first. So as you can see, and I like this, this blue color is great. It shows up amazingly on camera and I really appreciate that because I don't edit that ever. Um, so here you go. Big step to the organic. It's kind of like he said, like they said, it's sort of like a V. As you can see, that pad fits perfectly in that gap. Uh, rounds over ever so slightly at the top of the step, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't stick in there or anything, but I mean, it's just... You can really feel that gap, and that gap really makes it feel like a wide yo-yo. Uh, and then, in addition to really thin walls and really beefy rims, it really gives it a lot of power. It makes it play kind of feel like an H, but when you catch it, it catches like it's an, orga it's an organic yo-yo. So that's really cool, and I like that design aspect of it. The uh, comes with the grooved bearing, that sort of V-shaped grooved bearing, which works very well in this yo-yo. It's dead silent. Spins forever. This is a great bearing. Um, I don't know what bearings they're using or whose bearings or if they're just generic, whatever the ones the machine shop uses. But these are these are top-notch bearings. So I'm I'm digging this bearing a lot. I haven't done anything to it. Um, came apart really nice. Goes back together really nice. I mean, this is nice machining. This is good. I don't know who machined it, but whomever did, it's really good. Um, in addition to that, uh, we can check out the engraving here. Ibex right there, so you know what it is. And then over here, you can see zero gravity. So you know whose yo-yo it is. Um, weirdly enough, I kind of used to not like engravings at all, but then uh, my good buddy Tyler Severance told me one day that uh, you know aluminum yo-yos take, would take 3,000 years to degrade. So hypothetically, let's say somebody finds this yo-yo you know, 1,000 years into the future after you know we're all dead, and... Uh, Looks it up and is like, what the hell is this? And then sees on it, oh, zero gravity, Ibex. Oh, 
I mean, they would know what it was. I mean, maybe if the internet still exists, who knows? But at least they'd be able to uh, figure out what the heck they were pulling out of uh, out of the ground once they're archaeologists. At what point is it not grave robbing but archaeology? I think somebody answered that it was like fifty years, and that's that's weird to me. Anyway, not the point of the review. So, pros and cons. Pros uh, comes out today, fifty six dollars. Solid yo-yo, unique yo-yo, but like not unique in a bad way. Like some yo-yos are unique, but kind of play crappy because of their uniqueness. This is unique and plays really, really well. Like this is a really top performer mono metal yo-yo. Like this is one of the better mono metals uh, performance wise that I've played kind of in a while. Um, grind finish is phenomenal. The price is great at $56 for a 70, 78 aluminum yo-yo. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty good uh, for that type of aluminum. It's a little harder, so it's harder on the uh, machining parts. Uh, finger spin cup, it works. You can finger spin in here regardless of whether you hit the center or not. Uh, worthwhile. The thumb grind lip is about as easy as it gets. Uh, it's a big diameter and that's a big catch lip. So that's cool. So pretty much whatever you want to do on it, whatever you want to catch on it, whatever you know your sort of thoughts of trick style or whatever, this yo-yo can handle really well. It's got even all the like sort of gimmicky pieces but it also is just like a beast and is super duper stable so i mean it's just it's kind of that all around hey man what do you want to what do you want to do with this yo-yo it's kind of a unique yo-yo what kind of cool tricks can you come up with this kind of unique yo-yo uh and it's got a great grind finish too so even if you want to do like talon grinds and things like that uh it would be really good for that as well um really only i mean there's no really any cons i mean if you want if you saw it and you're like ooh, organic i want it to be floaty it's not that but you know what? It's powerful. It's stable. I like it. It plays nice and uh, it comes in some cool colors. They're all solid colors too. Uh, this is really cool. And there's like a brown gold that's really good. Obviously black as well. Um, but uh, I like the this color yo-yo. I'm going to tell you guys a secret. This color yo-yo shows up really good on camera and it always sort of pops. So there's like, it's just, it's really easy to film and like you kind of do whatever you want with it and not have to worry about it. So that plus the white zipline strings. See how well that stands out? Boom. Boom. Anyway, I digress. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much, so much for watching. Check the links down in the description. You can pick one of these up today. Uh, they, drop, they drop today, October 12th. So uh, check it out. Pick one up. You're going to dig it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.